You're listening to Maximum Medicine Radio with host Doc Martin. Stay tuned in or call in. You won't want to miss what's happening next. How do you step into your maximum potential? How do you connect your spiritual drive with your physical path? Stick around as Doc Martin takes listeners on a journey through the seen and unseen, the accepted and the unbelievable. Get ready to meet the maximum you the world needs on Maximum Medicine Radio with Doc Martin now. Welcome. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on. I am Dr. Pat. I get to be right here with Dr. Sharon Martin on Maximum Medicine Radio. And we're very, very excited about today's show. Um, Let me just start with a little backdrop, if we could, Dr. Martin. One of the things that you all have heard us talk about before is what uh, Dr. Sharon Martin has been doing to bring Maximum Medicine to life. Now, let me just say what that looks like it looks like you create an idea then behind the idea you create a way to talk about it so that when she says bridging mystical and scientific right when that is what we're talking about today you have to think about what that means and so it's not just about body which she is an expert at why because she is a doctor and md And is it just about spirit, because she's also a straight talking shaman, or is it about something else? And the something else is what we're gonna talk about today. When Maximum Medicine comes to the forefront in her upcoming book and you see what comes forward and you've heard a lot of things, what you have not heard her talk about, because People don't want you to talk about stuff until, you know, they give you permission in publishing world is the maximum medicine um, part of this that has to do with maximum mindset matrix. That's what we're talking. Think it and create it. But can you imagine the idea of a matrix? Anybody that's ever watched the movie understands that it is about many interrelated parts that get connected today during the show, you're going to get to enter the maximum mindset matrix. You're going to get to see what it looks like. And during this show, you're going to see the genius of this matrix. You know, imagine creating something that is three by three and no matter what direction you go in, it it, it equates to a very specific, very specific way to show up, a very specific mindset that leads to very specific behavior. So up until this point, you really haven't heard Doc Martin talk about this very much because there are other things that were so important to bring to the forefront. Today, we're talking about the mind part. And when we talk about the mind part, we have to think about how complex this is. Whether you're Jessica and me and we're just coming off the Doctor Strange multiverse um, or you have battled your own mind and mindset. This is what today's show is about. For those of you that don't know Doc Martin, she is someone that is a physician. She is a shamanic healer. She offers, she offers blessings, healings, sessions, whatever that is. This is the world that she's created to make sure that the bridge that we step on between the mystical and science is going to hold us all up. That's what she's about. Um, this is an incredible show. I am so excited about this. Doc Martin, right? Enter right. the matrix. <laughs> well, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, this is like we ought to get the PlayStation out and go into a video game where we could <laughs> come in in one direction and end up in the chamber over here. But the multi, <laughs> the multi-chamber that is our mind and mm-hmm. our thoughts and we're in the world now, If though I'm sure our listeners know this, though the majority of the world might not know this, but we're stepping into the place where medicine is going to start embracing energy medicine. And what does that mean? You've heard a lot about thoughts and thought form, and it really is true that what you think changes your energy field and therefore changes the outcome of your life. 
So my sense in teaching people how you want to get the most, we want the most fulfilling life. We want the most rewarding life. We want to show our capacities to the maximum. And you do that in many ways, but the one big way we're talking about today is by how you think and how you think actually brings an outcome. And we're going to go through the matrix. I love the matrix. Anybody else love Keanu? <laughs> <laughs> uh, go through the matrix and just show you where if you can work on each section and put them together, and bring them together in a certain way, it's limitless. Yeah. Don't you think, Pat? It's like blows it, you it out It really water. is. It really is. And you know, it's so fascinating, right? Because, you know, once upon a time to even mention something like a multiverse, that would have been a, 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 a that would have been something that Dr. Gene Houston you know, 30 years ago would be standing in front of a bunch of people and be talking about your quantum partner, right? I got to work with Jean in one of the first leadership trainings she did. And even then, 20 years ago, when I was introduced to that, and she said, speak to your quantum partner, I was like, what, are, what is this about, right? But here we are today and things, language like multiverse. I mean, should we, I'm going to thank Stan Lee, first of all. I'm not going to thank Hollywood. I'm not going to thank, you know, like whoever put that movie on. I got to go back to my man, Stan, because I grew up with these comic books. So at a very young age, you got to see and hear people talk about multidimensional things. Now, what was taboo, right? What was taboo is talking about it as metaphysical or spiritual, right? It was like, oh, and but, certainly not as a physician. Oh, uh, uh, and not even as a PhD. Hello, are you kidding me? When I graduated school, my dean saw me standing with my arms out with two thunder eggs. He thought they were crystals, and he blacklisted me from working with any of the students. And and you know, here we are today. And that's why introducing the matrix to everybody today and the meaning of it and the power of it and the courses that you're going to develop. I mean, this is a whole new level for maximum medicine, period. But it is about the bridge. And if you ever have stepped on a bridge, now I'm just saying, if you've ever stepped on a bridge or you've ever driven across a shaky bridge, but more importantly, if you're like out in the Pacific Northwest and they got these bridges that you, Jessica knows more about this, and you got to walk on these like wooden plank, right? You don't know what you're walking on, but the bridge that you're building between science, metaphysics, whatever people want to call it, the foundational piece is what we're talking about today, isn't it? Yes, because... If we as humans can grab control over our minds, which leads to control over your energy field, you are literally controlling your destiny. And if your thoughts are jumbled, if you're not holding the highest vision for yourself, if you're um, wishy-washy about something, you kind of get a wishy-washy life. And we don't want that anymore. The world needs us to know exactly how we want our species and the earth to evolve. And so we need to put our cleanest thoughts, most powerful thoughts out there and make the shift happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, let's just take a minute and, and, and let's, just, let's just have a moment and talk about how we got here if we could. Because the, the, the idea is, or the question is, do thoughts matter? And if we didn't take that seriously enough, I don't know that I'd even be here speaking with you mm -hmm. or that you'd be here speaking about this mindset matrix. But how, can, how have thoughts in your world, in your life, how have they either gotten you to where you want to go or gotten you to where you don't want to go? Because they get you there. They get you to whether, where you want to go, and then they'll also get you where you don't want to go, right? But how, how, have you, how have you learned from this along the way to becoming you? 
Well, tell you a story about, about thoughts. And 20 years ago, I didn't understand the power of my daydreams, the power of my intuitions, and the power of holding a dream. And I used to be, I was uh, teaching at Emory University in the School of Medicine, and the scientific research world is a crazy world. And it's not very rewarding because there's not enough funding going around to pay everybody for their good ideas. So you could be brilliant and broke, basically. And I thought to myself, you know, I want to do something that matters, that I can do anywhere, that I can go and hang a shingle. So this little thought's wiggling around in my head. And then I thought, you know, the rolling hills, I remember when I visited Amish country in Southern Pennsylvania, I said something like that and a house where I could walk to the barn and have a horse. Well, I've never had a horse, I never rode a horse. But I have these little thoughts. Well, darned if spirit didn't line things up one after the other. I wrote a story about this recently for a, mm -hmm. an upcoming book. Next thing you know, I'm in medical school in Maryland, then residency in South Central Pennsylvania, Rolling Hills. And then I'm accepting a job in rural Pennsylvania. And next thing you know, I have a house where I walk to the barn where my horse is. Now I have learned over the past 25 years how to harness those thoughts and how to really pay attention to those daydreams. But there are whispers of spirit leading your thoughts, trying to knock on the door and get through your hard head. And that's why we have to listen to them and we have to hold on tight. I said yes to opportunities that showed up that people said, what are you doing that for? Mm -hmm. And it brought me where I am. So your thoughts really, that's just a story to show you that yeah. little, little whispers are going on. And if we can harness those, just think of how much easier it would be. Yeah. I mean, the reason that it's so important to talk about this is because, you know, stories like that, like the one you just shared, right? and the stories that we'll continue to share really talk about the world of possibilities and we've done a lot of shows on whether it be the healing hour or maximum matrix where we've talked about the spirit parts of things and we've talked about the body parts of things and of course Maximum medicine includes it all. I mean, when we're looking at how you've connected all the dots, people will get to see that in weeks to come on the show. But the matrix is really cool in that it doesn't matter what direction you're going to go in, you're going to come to an outcome. And that outcome is related to either what you want to manifest or not. And what I love about this is, you know, I spent a lot of years doing research on outcomes. And one of the things I found, one of the most powerful variables is a thing called procedural justice. It's a strange word, but it's a moderator. It's a variable. And what it says is, if I, if I say I'm going to do something, Sharon, and I don't do it, like say what you're going to do, and then you don't do it, the only thing that would reduce the negative effect of that is how, how I went about that. Like if I was upfront with you. And what the matrix points to is some values in our value system that don't just affect us and our behavior, but affect others and how we are in the world. And that's why calling it a mindset matrix may be a little bit limited, but it is a mindset matrix that's going to lead to how we show up in the world. And how we show up in the world is either going to get us the desires we want in life or they won't, right? And I was just sitting here thinking that each of these sections in the matrix, it's mm -hmm. a three by three matrix that we'll show you in a minute. Yep. Each of those is a capacity through your thoughts and therefore your behaviors that wake up capacity in you and put your biggest self forward yep. Yep. in an integr integral, integrous, authentic way. 
Yeah. And we, again, the world needs us that yep. need all of our power right now. And, and that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to take a short break right now, Jessica. And when we come back, you know, Doc Martin and I are going to walk you through and show you what the matrix looks like. And then we're going to pull apart from it and talk about that one part. That part is so pertinent to where we are in the world right now, what we've come through in the past three years, that when you hear the word, when we come back, you're going to be, I did, I did do that. Yeah. Jessica, if we could take a short break, let's come back and introduce everybody to this incredible mindset matrix. Perfect. Hey, everybody, welcome back. It's so great to have all of you tune us in and turn us on right here. You're listening to, um, and this is Doc Martin's show, Dr. Sharon Martin, Maximum Medicine Radio. And today, enter the Maximum Mindset Matrix. Think it and create it. Um, well, Sharon, let, let's have you talk a little bit about the matrix in its entirety, and then Jessica is going to bring that up um, to the screen. But this explains what it is, also why it's important, right? So I, when I started thinking about this, I thought about in my shamanic training, what were the things that I learned about myself and what thinking patterns and behaviors did I have to embody? And I started thinking about it and I started putting them together in, um, I had nine major concepts um, and when I had these concepts, I realized that each of these ways of being are so important to guide our, and you won't, you don't may not know this because it's very obviously subtle, guide your energy field and that guides your destiny, guides the outcome of your life. So I put these together and Jess, you can go ahead and put that um, yep. picture up. Mm -hmm. And this is the maximum medicine mindset matrix. And there are nine components. There can be other things that I didn't think about, but these are the ones that really, really rocked me. And we're gonna be focusing on the middle column tonight because it's so deep when you really, really get into it that it's, we're not able to talk about it all. But the thing of beauty about this is if you can embody each of these sections and you're not gonna do all of them on the same day, it's gonna take you a while. You can come at this by pooling several thought processes, several behaviors and really bring forward an energy. And so in this, um, this nine cube, when you look at this and you come in straight down and we're gonna do the middle one, we're gonna do intention, expansion and power. And we'll talk about each in a minute. So just hold on if you don't follow the depth yet. When you put all those together, you actually are building and embodying the energy of perseverance. And I want to talk about why this, Pat, should we talk about why this middle one is so important today? Yes, yeah, exactly. So I'll go tell you another story. You guys know I'm a physician. I still work in a rural clinic. And it has been literal HE double toothpicks since February of 2020 not knowing the virus we're dealing with, not understanding it, we never heard of it, don't know how to treat it, don't know what the symptoms are, don't know anything, but all we know is the fear and we see people, our patients, our community going to the hospital, not coming back, coming back after 51 days of being in the hospital, they're not the same, they're not thinking the same, now we call it long COVID, um, then we add to what's going on in the world, the economics, that's another heartbreak, the 
the flipping of reality that people are doing this shooting stuff it's like ukraine you know this has been a two and a half year process that if you have made it through to this point then you need to get a gold star in perseverance we are persevering through some of the most hateful frightening wrong stuff that we've ever lived in in our lifetime in our lifetimes so we're going to focus on this middle column tonight because we're going to build the concepts that if you embody these you're going to improve and amplify your perseverance and i just want to take a minute to to take off my hat to those of you who are still alive literally and um emotionally that you're still putting your best self forward that you're still having dreams and working to bring those to reality you persevered we as humans are going forward because of you guys so i just want to i just i'm just really feeling it um i just have to say stop for a second and say thank you mm -hmm. um, sorry i'm gonna cry mm. <sighs> but anyway it's been a long haul we're not done yet and these kinds of thoughts that you can embody will help you. So um, Pat, do you have anything you want to add to that? No, I, I would love for Jessica to put up the, the middle column um, just to show everybody what we're talking about in, you know, they've already seen the full three by three, but today now what we're talking about is we're talking about what are the, what are the concepts or ideas that make up perseverance? And, you know, when we look at perseverance in this context, and again, I just want everybody to keep in mind, you can also go to, uh, to Sharon's website. And if you go to her website, you'll see this, right? Um, DrSharonMartin.com. If you go there, you'll see the full matrix, but now you're going to understand a bit about it. And so remember what I said, it's a three by three, and it doesn't matter if you go left to right every row, or you go left to right every column, or you go diagonal. Every aspect equals a separate idea or a concept. And when you go back and you look at perseverance, and Jessica, put that back up if you could. I want to just touch upon a couple of these, and then we're going to go through them one by one. There are three different aspects of perseverance. And we're going to walk you through each of them because you need all three of these to persevere. Intention, expansion, and power. And later on in the show, we're going to we're going to show you something that says, look, if you have one or two of these, it's not that bad. But is it going to get you that ultimate level of perseverance? Are you going to be able to push through? Are you going to be able to understand all of that? And that's kind of what today is about, to introduce you to what you're capable of. Wouldn't you say that? Yes. Um, let's take a look at the first one. It is one of the most used words, intention, mm -hmm. that has come out of the movie The Secret, or I, they're calling it like the New Thought Movement or the Human Potential Movement. It's one of those words that Wayne Dyer coined and made popular. Mm -hmm. It's also one of those words that are least understood. And so Jessica is going to put up the detailed version of what intention is. Because when you look at intention um, and you take a look at what it means, and I think, Jessica, there's a detailed version that's side by side. One is next to um, the three column where it gives us the detail of what intention means. And even if we don't have it in image, but, I can I can go yeah. through. Yep. Yeah. Go ahead and talk about it because here's where we are, right? If we don't start at this place, it just goes sour. Right? Mm -hmm. You can you can act in the world and be random. 
You know, it's interesting. We went to the movies over the weekend and it was fascinating. Hadn't been to the movies, right? You have to operate every day intentionally and so do I. And when you and I don't, we don't show up for a show like this. We, we just don't show up. And to have that thought of, wait a minute, this is what I desire and hold on to it and not let go of it and not let doubt interfere with it. It's powerful, but it's not enough. It's not intention alone is not perseverance. Tell us, do you think it is, Sharon? No, but let's explain intention yeah. to really, really get clear. We, it yeah. is a word. It is a new age word. It's a spiritual word. It's a manifesting word. To me, intention is a straight arrow of your desire and it goes out from you aiming on the target of what you want. So that's sort of the law of attraction, you know, keep your thoughts going. Intention is not wishy-washy. <laughs> if it is, if you're not sure, do you want a new job in another state? Maybe you don't. Do you like this guy? Maybe you don't. You're not sure. Is he really? You cannot get a good outcome or the, a perfect outcome if you are wishy-washy. So when I say intention, I mean you are, I'm not going to use a gun reference here. You are, your arrow is set, your bow is drawn back, and you have one arrow and you have one specific target. Now you can have many intentions for other targets. Your life force fuels your intention. So again, when those whispers from spirit come, when you've got those thoughts coming and they're bubbling up, you want to grab onto those and really focus, is this what you want? Now your intention also is signaling to your cellular organism because it is lining up your energy field of your entire body. And your intention can be guided and fueled by the divine. But intention alone is not perseverance. Intention is wonderful. It is key to manifesting. It is key to the life that you want. It is key to the outcomes you want. So Pat, do you have more to say about intention? No, I think, I think that's it because the bottom line is intention by itself is powerful. Right. But today we're talking about the dynamics of three elements that yeah. create the power of perseverance. What we've seen people go through and mm -hmm. some have come out the other side and some have not. But if you put these three together, you will get to where you wanna go. Um, Let's talk about the second one, Jessica, if we could take a look at it. Because people would take a look at this for a minute and they might think to themselves, well, wait a minute, intention and expansion? What does that even mean? And, but it's important because expansion, right? Let's talk about what expansion is. People think, oh, you're talking about my bank account, but it's much bigger than that. You know, I think we have to talk about what we mean here with expansion, right? It's bigger. It's bigger. It's you and your abilities, your energy field, all of the above, right? Can you talk to that for a minute? So when I'm talking these concepts, I'm really bringing out and activating the energy of these because that energy is what's going to align with your cellular organism and you your energy field. Expansion is about how big can you be and how big can you see yourself? And expansion has no doubt. Expansion does not lack in confidence. Expansion is knowing who you are, what you want out of life and what your purpose is. And when you apply that to things like your health, you start to say, I'm bigger than this spot they found on my mammogram. I am expanded beyond something they say I have a quote disease, a label that they've given me. 
And then that brings in the awareness of the eternal you. When you're expanded, the possibilities in front of you are limitless. So I see putting expanded and intention together, expanded puts all those targets out there. It's like you went out into an archery field and you set up multiple bullseyes. Expanded says, I can have a hundred bullseyes. Intention is the thought that is the arrow that is going for the one bullseye that you want right now. But you didn't, you didn't limit yourself by saying, oh, I only have one or two bullseyes. I, I can't be this. I, I, well, I don't know. They tell me I have this disease. Well, get bigger. See yourself with limitless possibilities. That's what expansion does for you. But you can be, go ahead, Pat. Well, and that's really what we're talking about here today. That's what's so beautiful about this is it's, def it's taking a word like expansion and defining it in the bridge between the mystical and the scientific, right? Between that which is and that which we wish for. And that's so important for us to understand that almost every intention we set right, has a direction that we want to go in to achieve something. If we don't practice what we're talking about here today, and we're going to get the, the third one in a minute, then I could have every intention in the world to be a great table tennis player. And if my negative self-talk, whether when I'm playing or not playing, is anything but expansive in the way, if my talk is anything but expansive in the way you just defined it, I'm not gonna get to where I wanna go. And if we could just drive this one point home, especially around perseverance, when you combine intention and the expansive nature of what's possible for you, doors open, things open. Um, Jessica- so I, wanna, I wanna tell a story here. Sure, yeah, go ahead. So I'm, at Emory University, slogging away and uh, teaching and in the research lab. And I started daydreaming again, as I said, about <laughs> the rolling hills and a house with a barn and a horse. And um, somebody who my, whose opinion value, I valued a lot said to me, why don't you go to medical school? The first thought that came in my head was I heard anatomy class was too hard. I'll never do it. I'll flunk. And, but then it started with different thoughts that said, you know, I can do this. At that moment, I expanded. I didn't stay in my constricted world. I took that self-doubt and kind of pushed it aside. And I expanded and I applied to medical school and I got in. Hmm. So that moment when I pushed aside all my fears and said, yeah, cool, I can do, I can do that. And it opened, there's the door. So expansion is cool. Expansion is good. But it doesn't, it change everything. And what you talk about is the energetic field. It changes it. When we come back, we're going to talk about the last part of perseverance here. And this is the part that when you say it, I can't tell you how many women I've worked with when I use this phrase, they cringe. Then when I ask them to put the I am in front of it, it is like nightmare on Elm Street. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, more Freddy, from Dr. Freddy Amy, under the stairs. They, they're, we're gone. We're gone. And how do I know this? Because it was me at one point in my life. I want everybody out there. I just love for you to go to drsharonmartin.com and you'll see everything you need to know about Maximum Medicine, um, services, sessions she provides. The matrix is there. You'll see it there. Uh, when we come back, we're not only going to talk about this last piece, but how does this look when you put all three of these together? What is it that's going to show up for you and you're going to say, that's what they're talking about. I'm going to manifest my heart's desires. Jessica, let's take a short break. If we could, we'll be right back, everyone.
Hey, everybody, welcome back. You are listening to Maximum Medicine, and this is a fabulous show. You're going to hear a lot coming up here with Doc Martin, um, not just continuing dialogue about this, but interviewing really cool people because basically th- this is where all of us get to realize that no matter what we go through, no matter how many cycles in life we go through it, we can guide our ship. And yet, as we guide our ship, there are some principles that we should know about. And today, when we look at the matrix, we really pulled out perseverance. I mean, we could have pulled out the others, but we pulled out perseverance for a reason. It is so fresh in everybody's mind, and yet we have not stopped to talk about how resilient people have been. And let's get to this last one, because this is the one... (sighs) This is the we one want. nobody wants to say the word, right? How they're come? Like, they're like power. They're like, okay, can you say the word power? Can you say I am power? Can you say I am powerful? This is the one that brings this home. But let, let's have you talk about it because power in the outside world is not only the power. You know, I mean, look, great book. One of the first books I've given, Power Versus Force. I mean, we're talking about a different kind of power. Talk about this power, this full force of you, the soul part of you. Let's have you talk about that because this is you redefining a word so that it totally, you know, en- encapsulated for people that inner, outer, above, below, and beyond. I like that. Inner, outer, above, below, beyond. I just made that up right now. Cool. <laughs> so, no, but that's what it means to me in working with you. I mean, that's the cool part. If you take the word and you use it alone and you take it out of the bridge between science and metaphysics, it means something different. But when you bring it in here, and you have the soul touch it. Mm. Tell me what it ignites for you. Power is your life force. Power is you in alignment, energy field aligned, chakras aligned, the column where spirit talks to you and all down through your body aligned, connection to heaven and earth, power is to me that is your soul your essence unhampered absolutely standing in your glory the power the blaze of your sun power is what we embody what we are when we bring the full force of us present when we have, we've set aside, we've told those thoughts in our mind of doubt and lacking of confidence. We say, go sit over there for a little bit. I am going to stand in my power. And this is the most important, well, all the pieces in this construct are important, but you can have intention and you can have expanded possibilities and you can have your intention shooting arrows at your targets. But if you don't have the power of your life force, of your alignment between heaven and earth with your soul speaking to you, your higher self, if you don't believe in the divine, your nature spirits aligned with you, that's power. And that changes the magnitude of perseverance because you could not have persevered in these past two and a half years if you didn't bring forth your inner power your most powerful self to Mm. recover if you caught covid to avoid catching covid to stay tolerant in this crazy world to actually keep your dreams alive that took power. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I love about this? We're going to bring up something and show you how each of these interrelate and work together. But this is really the force that clears the pathway. 
It is the thing that will push you to the next step, even when you think you can't. And it is calling upon that inner power, that great strength that all of us have. I mean, Sharon, how many stories have you heard of, you know, watching a mom lift up a car or move something 10 times heavier than she is to save a child? I mean, that you don't make that up. But when you put all these three together, let's take a look at this amazing outcome sphere. Let's show you the power of what you can learn by putting them together, right? Cool. When you put them together, and Jessica's bringing it up on the screen, when you put them together, you have the outcome spheres. And we're gonna talk about what that means because by themselves, they're great. But when you take these three and you put them together and you start to look at what happens when you have two of them, but you don't have the third, you're going to get some outcome, but you're not going to get the outcome you really desire. Right. And what I love about it is each cube is important in and of itself and taking yourself through three concepts for a construct makes it even more powerful. But then when you put them together and you blend them and you find that middle part where all of those are interacting, and I call those the spheres, when you're bringing those together, you are encapsulating something magic. So that place where the three join or when you holding parts of each of the third, each of those three on yeah. the construct we're talking about. And of course, there are many constructs in this matrix. Yeah. And that's that's a magic spot. That's the sweet spot. Yeah. Yeah. I want to talk to everybody about this a minute. Let's, let's go a little bit into this. How many of you have set an intention, right? And you've set that intention and by itself, you're not really moving. You're like, oh, I think I'm going to go do this. I think I'm going to go get a PhD. Okay, so that happened to me when I'm in my 20s, right? I didn't even know what it was, but I spoke it and I kept speaking it. Did I go get that P? No, no, I didn't because I didn't have all three of these. As time went on, I started to believe myself. And Jessica, if you could put that back up what you start to look at is what happens when you start to expand as a human being see that little intention to go back to school that happened when i was in my early 20s when did i actually go back to school uh, like at 40 something and so what was the difference well i held on to the intention but the journey of my life and my soul to get to the place of expansion and courage enough to leave a job that was so toxic didn't happen until all of those points that that Sharon mentioned. But even with that expansion, that wasn't enough. It got me to the place where I had to get fired to move into the power that I had to choose. And what and we another another way yeah, to go, go ahead that is even in the presence of being fired, of being in a situation that could cut you to your knees, you had the power to step outside of that reality and bring yourself into the sweet spot. Yeah, yeah. Now, I would have not been able to go from the idea of going back to school, it would not have happened if I jumped to the point of power because I had not expanded enough inside and outside. See, this is what we mean by building the bridge. I had to believe and trust in the universe, in my pathway to know that when I sat down and decided to fill out an application, it was unwavering. This is what Sharon's going to teach. You know, today when you're looking at this and you're thinking about this, Intention and expansion will give you liftoff. That's what's on the diagram on the screen. Expansion and power opens up the world of possibilities. Power and intention may help you to get a manifestation, but it may be limited when you put them all together. You get yourself going, you have liftoff, you enter the world of possibilities. And when you enter the worlds of possibility, 
the idea of that power inside of you will take you to the place. So let's let's come at it another way also. You can have tons of power, but if you haven't honed your intention and you haven't decided what target you're aiming your arrow at, you're short circuiting all over the place. You might have tons of power in terms of the, the charge and the, the you that gets put forward, but it may be scattered. You may expand yourself, but if you haven't set on one, the one target you're talking about, at least for today, for this minute, for this hour, because you can have another intention, you can have anything you want. So the three together really give you that refined, that sophistication and refined, and it keeps you from flying off into when I see it energetically keeps you from, from spazzing out. Um, yeah. And see, this is what I love about perseverance, because a lot of times we talk about perseverance and we don't really talk about what we're capable of, but we've seen it. We've seen people go through horrific times. We've seen people say goodbye to their fathers, their grandfathers, their relatives, their friends through a glass window. We've seen businesses figure out how to rise up and stay in place. You know, we've seen people come together to help each other in many, many ways. I mean, I am so grateful for the financial team that I have. I'm so grateful for the people that I have at my bank that help me even fill out the forms. But sometimes you've got to have those other elements because it takes that extra bit of oomph to get you to get up out of bed, Sharon, and do something to fuel where you wanna go. And that's what I love about what, what this matrix is about. It's not just fuel that you put in your tank, it's the whole car, isn't it? It is, and especially because today in today's world we just really really need to be working from that sweet spot in any of these constructs and we'll talk about more of them in shows up upcoming but those operating from that sweet spot will help us make it through the reality that is out there the consensual craziness and even chart a course to our new reality. When we dream the new earth and we act it and we embody it and when we live from the sweet spot. And so this is a workable um, construct for you. It's a, in fact, Pat, why don't we put together a course, um, a kind of a, maybe a eight or 10 week workshop type to really, really work on this, because if we can pull ourselves, at least in this construct, into perseverance in today's world, boy, you have, you have accomplished a lot. Yeah. And see, that's where we're going. And, you know, as we move forward, what you're getting from everybody, what you're getting from Doc Martin is how to take the maximum medicine idea, body, spirit, mind and masterfully create the blueprint for the life that you want. A lot of times you hear about the body, other times you hear about the mind, other times you hear about spirituality, but when you put this into a quantum idea, mm -hmm. which is the metaphysical part of this, what you get is not miracles, you get manifestations a minute. And see, that's where we're going. How do we get people and help they need to go from I'm this today and tomorrow have a different mindset? Sharon, thank you so much for today. Again, this is thank amazing. You. Um, tell everybody about the other show that you just have and you've created. Oh, this, so this fun. one's also, oh, this is so fun. Yes. Yeah. So third Wednesday of each month, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, my good friend, amazing channeler, energy mover, Christian mystic, Dr. Georgia Herrera, and I have a show called Sacred Magic 
And it's our goal to energetically bring you into a magical place to bring your outcomes the way you want them. And it's a call-in show. I really, I'm excited about it. Please call us. So third Wednesday of the month, 2 p.m. Eastern, Sacred Magic. I want to thank all of you for tuning us in, turning us on, and please stay tuned for how we develop this course for you and what it's going to mean for how you can change your life, how you can change your world, how you can absolutely create a powerful mindset for anything in life. Uh, Doc Martin, thank you for a great show. Jessica, thank you so much. Yeah. Um, and go to Dr. Sharon, Dr. Sharon Martin.com. And please take a look around. Think about what do I want to do to help myself in life? And then see if we can't get you that help. Thank you, Doc Martin, for everything today. Thank you, guys. Nice being here. Yep. Thank you, Jessica, for pushing all the right buttons, for putting things up on the screen. And most importantly, thank you for giving us your input on what is important for you to learn than to do, because you are the best audience on the planet. Thank you all. We'll see you next time. See you. You've been listening to Maximum Medicine Radio with Doc Martin. Tune in next time while the doc talks health, spirituality, and the impact your beliefs have on every part of who you are, body and soul. Doc Martin unpacks the challenges we face as human beings and teaches callers to open the door between the scientific and the mystical. To learn more about Doc Martin and Maximum Medicine, visit www.sharonmartinmd.com.